Welcome back. We will be doing another Microsoft Sudoku Grandmaster Difficulty Puzzle. We start the same as always with hidden singles. If we spot one. And I don't see one right off, so we will move on to restricted cells. So ones, fours, fives, And this is a nine. Right to uh, three, seven. So I just go ahead and do the three sevens while I'm spotting the other two. And it is eight and four. I try to go based off numerical order, but I basically just go off of what I spot first. Let's see. So there's a one pointing set in this box, so one must be in these two spots. So I'll go ahead and do this row to reflect that. So fours. Fives, eight, and nine. So that's just a four. Let me double check that. So one, four, five, eight, nine. So this is just a nine. This is a four. This is a five. We can continue with that. So that cleaned itself up nicely. Here we go with the six, seven. And we are missing a two. Leaving this as a one naked six. Right. So the two sevens. And missing a four. So this is a four. All right. And I'll finish this box, a box two. So it is three, four, and five. So all three. Three, five, and all three. Right, and two, seven, and two, seven. And we are missing one and eight. This pair is a Three six and we are left with two five. I was not on pencil marks. So twos fives. Sevens, eight and And that is a naked eight, leaving us with a two, five, seven, nine here. All right, we have 
This is a pretty good one. So the 1-8, this is just a 1-8 a naked pair. Actually, I say 1-8 hidden pair. For some reason, I think naked pairs are more common than hidden pairs, but this is, in fact, a hidden pair because 1 and 8 are in this box. So this is a 2, 4, and 6. 2, 6, and 4, 6. And finishing it off, we have three, five, nine. So five here and three, nine. Which removes three as an option here. Oh, and the two sevens remove the seven as an option, so this is a three. And that's a seven, eight pair, so this is a four. And that leaves this with a one, eight which is a pair here. So we have a six, nine pair here. One, five, eight, six, nine. One, five, six, eight, nine. Six, nine, one, five. Nine. There's actually an eight here, so I'm going to double check this. One, five, six, nine. What are we missing? Threes. So three is here, here, and this is not an eight. Let me double check this five. So three, five, six, nine, three, six, nine. So this is in fact five. One, two, seven, yes. Cool little chain reaction there. All right, and six, nine. And we are left with two. And five. So two, five, six, nine. Do we have a three, five? We do have a three, five. Interesting. So if this is a five, this is a three. If this is a nine, this is a three. So this cannot be three. That's a cool little X that's a cool little um Y wing there. And this also couldn't be a three, but it was already not. So hopefully that'll come in handy later. Do we have a three, four, or a six, nine? I don't see one, so we will move along. Let's see. Where do I want to go now? Three, four, five, six, nine. So three, four, nine. And three, five, six, nine. Am I missing any triples or anything? Not that I can see at the moment. All right, um, two, three, four, nine. What am I missing? Seven. So this is a naked seven. And this is seven eight, so I'll go ahead and do it. Eight and seven. 
Right. Two, four, five, nine. Two, four, five, so I'm missing one. Two, four, five, eight, nine. Two, four, so five, eight. No, it's not a nine. The nine's here. So three, six, nine, make sure. Yes. This can't be a six. So this is, in fact, a three. Okay. So two, four, five. So four, five. And two, five. And I'm missing an eight. So this is an eight. I'm trying to be very careful because I've made multiple pencil mark errors, especially when I'm going quickly like this. Now, I'm not going extremely quickly, but I'm trying to go at least moderately quickly. Let's see, 2, 6. Am I, am I, yep, right here, but looking for another Y wing. Don't see a 5, 6. 5, 6 will be good for two things, for, for this and for these two. Oh, this is a 4, 5. I'm going to double check that. Looks good. So this is a 2. I have a 6-9 here, but unfortunately it doesn't connect with a 3-6 and 3-9. Or I said that backwards, but uh, the 3-6 and 3-9. Um, I guess I'll just fill in these last two cells. So it can be a 1-2, so it's a 3, can be a 4, can be a 5, can be a 6, 7, or 8. So it's a 9. And I'll do this one as well. One can be two, three can be can be four, five can be six, seven or eight, so nine. And now we search what is going to break this puzzle. I'm hoping it's something to do with this four or five because we did figure that out through a Y wing. So I'm looking to that especially. But I think that gave us this two, if I'm pretty sure. Oh, five, three, nine. So this is a one. That didn't really help us, but it's cool. No, I guess it gave us a number. That's technically helping. I'll see the 4, 9, or a 2, 3. 2, 3 would be really good. Three, four. Oh, uh, okay. This is a little bit cheesy, but you see these six nines here? Well, that means this cannot be a six nine because that is what we call a unique rectangle. So basically, if this was a six nine, this puzzle would have exact would have two solutions. So this must be a five. A little bit cheesy, but um, I will do it. And that might be the straw. We will see. It might hang on. Unless I'm missing something, it's still hanging on. I'm kind of glad. I didn't want to break the puzzle on a unique rectangle. Hmm. 
Don't see a four nine. Four nines would be so good right now. Hmm. Okay, I guess we move on to conjugate pairs. Got a pair of sixes, which would technically be an X-wing, except that's the the last two sixes, so there's no eliminations. Same with the twos. Hmm. Let's see here, five, here and here, here and here, here and here. So either this five or this five is correct, but unfortunately that skyscraper doesn't give me anything that I can see at least. Can I get anything else from this Y-Wing? Or it's not a Y-Wing. Hmm. It might be another bug plus one. Mm, no, because nine can be in three spots here. I thought I saw one more. Three can be in three spots. Here. And here. Just not seeing it. Maybe the fours. So conjugate pair, conjugate pair, conjugate pair. So either this one or this one is correct. They only spot, they only uh, see this cell and this cell. So. Conjugate pair. Not a conjugate pair. So it's looking like threes. Hmm. No, I don't want to say that. I think threes might be the answer. Conjugate pair. Conjugate pair. Conjugate pair. So either this one or this one. 
they only see this cell, this cell. Conjugate pair, conjugate pair, conjugate pair. So these two. Hmm. I think I already did the fives, but I will try again. So these two, these two, these two, so this one or this one. It's only this cell, unfortunately. These two, these two, these two. So one of these two. Yeah. This is a pickle. Yep. Dill extra salt. Hmm. If it goes to 25, I'm going to need to chain it. So I'm going to look until 25. If I don't get it by 25, I'll need to chain it. Uh, six, nine, don't see one. Don't see three, four. I don't even see a good candidate candidate for an XYZ wing. I feel like threes, just for some reason I feel like threes are the answer. So these two, these two. And then there's not a good finned X one or finned swordfish. So we have these three, these two, and then we could do these two, and either this is a swordfish or this one is correct, but that doesn't give a solution, unfortunately. These two on fours. And that's just a normal swordfish, but this all the four, so it doesn't help. So I'm just going to Nishio Chain because it's 25, and I don't want to spend any more time on this puzzle. 
So I'm just going to assume this is a three. Three, nine. And I'm just mock solving. A bit disappointed I couldn't solve this one. Because it, it seemed like a good puzzle. And that is wrong. So backing up. So this cannot be a three, so it must be a five. Yeah, just a disappointing, disappointing puzzle. I might um, enter it into a solver to see what it tells me, and I'll get back with you. Well, there we have it. A completed puzzle. A very unsatisfying puzzle, but a completed one nonetheless. See you next time. Hey, I don't know what technique was supposed to be used, but the solver I entered it in after the fact said brute force, so I don't feel so bad using an Ishio chain anymore. Have a good one.